you go now and I don't rearrange your organs. There, that's a great improvement. Look much better now. Well, he did warn you. You go now and I don't rearrange your organs. Hey there. So, uh, what's up? Pretty crappy weather we're having, uh, don't you think? Wow, so what's with the hole in your arm? That's, uh, that's gotta sting. My, you're a tall one. Uh, is there something I can do for you? He's apparently a social minimalist. His only reaction is the kind of look that makes you want to run to the safety of your closet and assume your all too familiar fetal position. Bomber, it looks like your friend has reconstituted. This could be a painful development. Yes, it looks like he's going to beat the... Yep, he sure did. Boy, that's gotta hurt. Bomber, it looks like your friend has reconstituted. This could be a painful development. Yes, it looks like he's going to beat the... Yep, he sure did. Boy, that's gotta hurt. I'm not going to say he told you so, but he did. Oh, not real smart. This may just be your most humiliating moment ever, although it's hard to tell. There have been so many. Don't you just hate it when that happens? You pick strange methods of getting a charge out of life. Wow, he really creased your can. Pretty impressive. Maybe not from your point of view, of course. You pick strange methods of getting a charge out of life. Now there's a real bright idea, but then perhaps you deserve the consequences. If the force field were turned off, you'd be the only one to suffer the consequences. In the event that someone might be looking over your shoulder, we'll save your embarrassment for another time. Game over, man. Game over. Being a good Samaritan is one thing, but you should have been just a little skeptical about that move. And you thought the fumes from lactose intolerance were bad. Ooh, boy, I got you with my fingers in your Kurt Russell. Now you can't get away. I got you now that you've got a hard to believe this is a real job. Oh, my God. So how come you're not going down? I got you with your mumble jumbo and your hobbit chili. Ooh, boy, I, I, if I only could, I would. Jeez, if, why don't you step outside, pal? I got you with this. And, uh, mm, I think I broke a fingernail here. I'll bet Magnum kicks some serious butt playing marbles.
EVA suits weren't designed just as a fashion statement, Roger. Okay, Manuel. We're all hooked up. Give it a try. You pick strange methods of getting a charge out of life. Whoops! Guess you're about to find out if there's cyber gravity. Apparently it does exist. As you plummet to your cyber death, you are confronted by a variant of an age-old question. If you fall and hit the ground within cyberspace, and no one is there to hear it, will you make an audible splat? Yep. Smooth move, x -Lax. Guess this cyberspace thing can be pretty painful. And I'm not just talking about the rates. That's not really recommended. You're outfitted for the vacuum of outer space, not the inner acids of stellar Santiago. That's pretty far to go just to do your Wizard of Oz impression. Makes you feel tingly all over, doesn't it? My goodness, those little guys are efficient. However, based on how they left your boots behind, you might consider some odor eaters. Since you've entered the tapeworm, not partially digested, you'll probably give him heartburn. I hope you're proud of yourself. And you were so close, too! You chuck a gallstone at one of the robots, causing it to think the other one did it. So close, and yet so far away. How embarrassing to get wasted by the laurel and hardy of nanites. Pretty embarrassing getting wasted by an old lady, tentacles or not. You'd better hope no one saw that. <laughs> <laughs> 